Coming up on this week's episode, Skyborne Aviation Group buys out Vero Beach Flight Academy. Also, Leonardo opens U.S. Helicopter Training Academy and new CFI portal ready for action. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training. From student pilots taking their very first flights to the new commercial pilot getting ready to take on their first flying gigs, as well as the amazing industry built around all of this. No segment is more important to the growth of the aviation world than the flight training community. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Skyborne Aviation Group has completed the acquisition of its new flight academy located in Vero Beach, Florida. Skyborne Airline Academy Vero Beach will be the first pilot training base in the United States for the UK headquartered Airline Academy. It offers prospective pilots a full-time FAA Part 141 approved training on a 12-month residential program, airline pathways programs with leading U.S. airlines plus private instrument commercial and instructor courses. It will also serve as a fair weather base for Skyborne's UK CAA integrated ATPL program and welcome trainees from the Academy's Indigo Cadet Pilot Program as they complete their US FAA 141 CPL SEIR plus ME flying. Lee Woodward, Chief Executive Officer, Skyborne Aviation Group Limited, said, Today's deal closure is a milestone for Skyborne as we officially enter the U.S. pilot training market. Skyborne Airline Academy Vero Beach will be a world-class facility in a prime geographic location. Skyborne Airline Academy Vero Beach opened on May 1st, located on a 30-acre site between Orlando and West Palm Beach. The Academy is within reach of 137 airports statewide. After the break, a partnership, a joint upset recovery training, aims to reduce loss of control in flight accidents. Details coming up. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Flight Safety International and Flight Research have launched their joint upset recovery training. This offering aims to reduce loss of control in flight accidents by fusing Flight Safety International's unmatched type specific simulator training with flight researches in aircraft instruction. This upset recovery training will give pilots the opportunity to experience in-flight upset with real gravitational forces, vestibular excitation, and mental stress that can only be delivered in a plane. Further building upon flight safety simulation programs that replicate scenarios which cannot be safely accomplished in an aircraft, such as a very low level stall events. FAA adds more space launch activity areas to pilot navigation charts. The Federal Aviation Administration says that it is increasing pilot safety and airspace awareness by making more space launch activity areas on navigation charts. 
Adding space launch activity areas to the navigation charts used by pilots who fly visually responds to the recent and expected continued growth of the commercial space operations. All 12 FAA licensed spaceports and other federal and private launch and reentry sites are represented on the charts by a rocket symbol. These areas are in Alaska, California, Colorado, Florida, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, and Virginia. Air Force Youth Programs Accepting Applications for Summer Virtual Aviation Camp Applications are open for this year's Air Force Youth Programs Virtual Teen Aviation Camp. Applications are due no later than April 14th. The virtual camp held in partnership with Air Force Aero Clubs is June 14th until the 25th and offers an introduction to the field of aviation and opportunities for careers and leadership roles within the Air Force and Space Force. EASA has granted the first certificate for a virtual reality-based flight simulation training device. The device for rotorcraft pilots enhances safety by opening up the possibility of practicing risky maneuvers in a virtual environment. This addresses a key risk area in rotorcraft operations, where statistics show that around 20% of accidents occur during training flights. The device was developed and built by VRM Switzerland. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Leonardo has opened their new helicopter training academy. It's located on their existing campus in Northeast Philadelphia that also includes production, support, and administrative functions for the United States. The new academy was first announced at the 2019 Heli Expo in Atlanta and despite the challenges of COVID-19, was able to open two years later on schedule. The new academy in Philadelphia is part of an $80 million investment in the United States operations that will provide training services for a growing demand and need for pilots, cabin crews, and maintenance technicians across North and South America. The training academy in the U.S. will mirror the services provided by its sister facility in Sesto Calente, Italy, offering ground, air, and virtual training and leverages also simulator capabilities jointly developed by Leonardo and operated by their Rotosim JV. The Academy, which is already up and running for customers, features training services for the AW119, AW169, AW139 models, and will also be home to the training services for global customers of the world's first tilt rotor set to receive civil certification, the AW609. After these messages, safe, new master CFI portal ready for action. Details after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Welcome back. The Master Instructor Program, which officially affiliated last month with SAFE, has opened a new website and made submitting applications easier from prospective master instructors. As strange as it may sound, the FAA never created a continuing education recognition program for aviator educators, explained David St. George, SAFE Executive Director. 
The master instructor program created by Sandy and Joanne Hill in 1997 is now part of SAFE and provides this essential motivation and recognition for professional educators in all parts of aviation. This master instructor program new website has a new and easier submission portal. If you are a busy professional educator, you probably already have all the experience to qualify as a master instructor, said St. George, who added that industry recognition and program benefits of a master instructor easily cover the cost of application. SAFE's CFI insurance gives a 10% discount for master instructors. Studies show that earning master certificated flight instructor credentials adds to aviation community recognition, respect, and business. According to St. George, himself a 12-time master CFI, annual savings on aircraft insurance for MCFIs more than pays for the master instructor application fees. Well, that does it for our show today, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to leave a comment. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.